I'm super excited today to show you Open Interpreter. Open Interpreter is a, a Python project, an open source project. What it does is it allows uh, LLMs to run code locally on your machine. So it, it'll do the language model, it'll talk to ChatGPT4 or use another model. So you ask it to do something and it'll write code to do that and then it will execute the code when, when you give it permission. Really excited to show you some examples. Let's dive into it. Just as a reminder, let's go back to ChatGPT4 and you'll see that this is called, this was renamed. It's now called Advanced Data Analysis, which allows you to do code analysis. Let's do a quick example here. Let's have it read in a file, alarm clock, and we'll ask it, please analyze this file. And here's the answer that it returned. While this is super exciting, this isn't the purpose of our video today. Let's pop over here to our uh, console and we'll actually start installing our program. We're going to do a pip3 install open interpreter. Once that's installed, all you need to do is literally type interpreter. And now you're up and running. And see how it's asking. It's saying, hey, do you want me to use ChatGPT4 or do you want me to use CodeLama? That's free, but obviously less capable. The first step here is we'll, we'll let's just play with ChatGPT4, show you how that is, how, how you interact with it there. What it needs is an API key. Here's the API key that I'm going to be using for this demo. I will delete this, this key after the demo, so no problem there. It also tells you that you can easily just export the open, open API key uh, as a variable. Now that it has ChatGPT4 capabilities, let's go ahead and have it analyze that same code. So let's say, please analyze this code. And we're simply going to just drag and drop the code right there, give it a path. It can't get the code right now, so it actually wrote code to read in that file. Now it's asking you, hey, do you want me to actually run this code? Say yes. Now it's able to read in the file to actually do the work that you asked it to do. And here's the answer, and you could obviously prompt it to do more things, but a big takeaway here is back to this. So it wrote code and asked you if it could execute that code. This is really similar to, you know when you see these movies where folks are like going to Mars and all they have is a 3D printer? So they didn't bring all the materials with them that they need, but what they have is a 3D printer to print whatever they needed. This is very similar to that. If, if it can't do something, it doesn't know how to do something, it can write code, ask you if it can execute it, so it can actually do the job you asked it to do. Pretty amazing. Let's now get out of this one and actually look at Code Llama, which is kind of the main idea of this video today. To do that, we need to start it with interpreter dash dash local. And it will not be using, so see how it didn't even ask for ChatGPT4 API key? So we're going to tell it to use the small one, so 7 billion. And we're also going to use the small model here, just as a demo. I've already downloaded it, so that's why it's going super fast. It'll, it'll be a little bit slow for yourself. I'm not going to use a GPU, so I'm going to say no there. And at this point, it, it would download and install anything that you needed. Let me bounce over real quick and show you. Now, when you try to install that earlier, you're probably going to get an error here, depending. So, it, hey, it can't build, it can't load Llama CPP Python. Let me show you how to do that. You're going to pop over here into the documentation. This is on the Open Interpreter documentation. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do to manually install Llama CPP Python. So you would do this pip3 uninstall here, and then you would set these arguments, and then you do the pip install uh, Llama CPP Python. That's exactly what I did, and it worked. Now we're going to do the same exact example that we did earlier. We're going to ask it to please analyze this code. So we've got the code there. We're going to have it do its work. Again, this is not going to be a very complicated analysis because it's a very small model. So I'm going to ask it here, hey, what does this code do? Please tell me the purpose of the code. Okay, so it finally analyzed the code. So you see here, you had to give it much more in-depth prompting because it's certainly not capable like a GPT-4 model. And that concludes our demo. Thanks so much, and please subscribe if you enjoyed the video.